good morning from a very wintry looking park. Had a little bit of a dust in the snow here. It's actually more on the path than you can see on the grass. Maybe the temperature of like the tarmac surface of the path is colder than the grass maybe, so it's easier for the snow to settle. I don't know, it looks nice anyway. A little dusting on the grass over there. Looks like a little bit of icing on a Christmas cake. Max is happy to be bouncing in a winter wonderland, aren't you pal? What's happening little dude? Do you like playing in the snow? Your coat matches the colour of the ground today, mate. You've still got your toy though, haven't you? That's great fun. As you can tell, by the look of the path, we're the first people here in the park today, by the looks of it. There is, a it looks like somebody's been kind of, somebody's ridden a bike through the park, probably on their way to work or something. To be fair, I, I ride my bike, but I wouldn't fancy riding on this because it'll be really slippy. Not uh, ideal cycling conditions, but fair play. That's a, a brave cyclist that's ridden through this snow. It's always fun to run around with your toy, isn't it, pal? Are you having fun still, even though it's cold? Got the moon still up there in the sky. There's a bright light off in the distance. Don't worry, it's not an approaching fireball or anything. I think it's a plane on approaching to Liverpool Airport. Oh yeah, there we go. You can see that when you zoom in. When the camera decides to focus. You can take my word for it, it is a, a plane. No, the camera's not having any of that. Just as proof, there you go. There's the plane. <laughs> We knew it wasn't a, an impending fireball of doom. While the doggo lies down in the grass. Are you going to be sad when you wreck that toy? Come on. Looks like some other people have beaten us to it on this bit of the path. Some early risers. I've been up for a couple of hours already because it took Stevie to work this morning. She starts work at 6am on a Saturday, as she does, kind of five days a week. Because of how short the days are now and how long the nights are, it's too dark when I drop Stevie off in the morning to come straight to the park. Unless it's, well, <laughs> unless I don't want to see where I'm going, which is kind of useful when there's slippy snow on the ground. I, I like to see where I'm going. Uh, I don't really want to fall over. It's not quite sledging weather down that hill, is it, pal? But it's great toy weather. It's always great toy weather. It's relatively rare for us to have snowfall here on the ground. We do get it a few times a year, most years. We're only about 10 miles or so as the crow flies away from the coast. Believe it or not, the sea actually keeps the climate here relatively mild. So we do have really cold days um, to a certain extent, but not usually to a, a snowy extent. There are other parts of the country, obviously further away from the coast and particularly on higher ground where they get more snow. Got the continuing deterioration of Pets Corner here now, which has been abandoned since around March this year. Really sad to see it in this state. It's looking more and more derelict every time I walk past here now. It'd be nice to see the council bring it back into use as something. Anything's better than leaving it in the condition it is at the moment. Just about to say nobody's been in the gardens yet today, but it looks like a little bird's been making its way through here. It looks like there's a little bit more snow in here. You can see on the ground where my feet are, that's more like maybe half an inch or so of snow. A little bit thicker here than it is in the rest of the park. I guess it must be a little bit colder in here because it's a little bit further away from the civilised world, so to speak. He says walking on a concrete path. But yeah, I think it's a bit colder in here so the snow has had more chance to stick. That's why there's a thicker coating. And this dog is desperately spinning wanting his toy back. What this guy does when he wants his toy back is that he tries all sorts of different tricks to see if any of them persuade me to give him the toy back. So he's doing his look cute and wagtail. Oh, there we are, there's spin. Oh. Usually there's a little like paw up thing as well. He's not doing that at the moment, but he's very cute. He likes to do all of his all of his tricks. So there we go, there's another spin. If, he, if I keep doing spin, maybe he'll give me my toy back in a minute. <laughs> Looks like we've had a, a rabbit coming through here or something. Definitely a small animal of some kind. It's nice seeing all the tracks around. You can see that no other human beings have been in here this morning since it snowed. It's just me and the poochie.
So, a quick update for you. We've got a little trip planned tomorrow, which is why I was concerned about the snow everywhere, because it can be kind of sketchy driving in the snow. Uh, you'll find out where we're going next week, because we'll be filming, and it'll be next Saturday's video. And it's an exciting development for us, and for you guys who watch us, we'll have some exciting places to go over the next year, which is your little hint. We are only a couple of weeks away from Christmas now as well, which is good. It's really exciting. I love this time of year. Apart from the weather, the weather's not amazing. I'd rather we had a, a nice warm day, but it's nice to see its scenery. And I like seeing all family and friends and having a nice time at Christmas. I, I'm off for two weeks as well. Got the week between Christmas and New Year and then the first week in January off. And Stevie's off for the first week in January as well, which should be good. So we should have a few exciting days out planned and we'll set you guys along. Anyway, that's going to do it for today's video. Just a little short one to update you, show you the exciting snow that's fallen overnight here in St. Helens and tell you, give you a little sneak hint of where we're going tomorrow and where you'll see on next Saturday's video. For now, that is it. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to follow our adventures. We'll see you guys soon.